Assalamu alaikum and hi. Now we are going to continue on partial differentiation. In this lecture 2 of 3, we are going to focus on second order partial derivative and also extremum of functions of two variables. For learning outcome, at the end of this lecture, okay, you should be able to compute the second order partial derivative involving two variables. Determine the stationary point AB by solving simultaneous equations up to third degree polynomials. And also, determine the nature of stationary point AB by using second order partial derivative test. First, okay, let's go okay, to second order partial derivative. Okay, example 1, if fxy equals to xy, okay, plus x exponent 1 over y, show that, okay, delta square f over delta x delta y equals to, equals to delta square f over delta y delta x. For this question, okay, we use the second order partial derivative. Okay, first, let's differentiate, okay, the left hand side, okay, the left hand side. So, for the terms, okay, actually we will have to differentiate, okay, y first. Okay, then we differentiate one more time with respect to x. Okay, so for this function, okay, you have y for both terms. Uh, first, we change the form. So, xy, okay, plus x exponent y to the power of negative 1. We can differentiate it by using power rule. Okay, let's differentiate. So, xy, you differentiate, you get x times 1. Okay, and the second one, x, okay, the constant, multiply with. Okay, differentiate the power. So, negative y, power of negative 2. So, exponent, okay, 1 over y. Okay, simplify the terms. So, you get x minus x over y square multiply with exponent 1 over y. Okay, now we want to differentiate one more time. Okay, we respect to x. Okay, we respect to x. Okay, we take the previous answer. Okay, so let's look for the previous answer. So we have, okay, 2x for both terms. Okay, you differentiate x, so you get 1 minus, okay, the second term. Okay, we write first the constant exponent 1 over y over y square. So we differentiate x, you get 1. So the answer should be 1 minus exponent 1 over y over y square. So let's proceed okay to differentiate differentiate the right hand side. So for this one okay we have to differentiate x first then one more time okay differentiate with respect to y. Okay let's proceed. Okay for the function okay we have Okay, 2x. Okay, 2x. Okay, at the first term and the second term. So, y is a constant. Okay, so y multiply with differentiate x, you get 1. Uh, so, for this one, exponent is a constant multiply with 1. Uh, so, your answer is y plus exponent 1 over y. Okay, now we want to differentiate one more time. Okay, with respect to y. Okay, for this one, okay, we have two terms. Uh, when we differentiate, we should get. Okay, differentiate y, you get 1. Okay, differentiate exponent 1 over y. Okay, exponent 1 over y, you can change it into exponent y to the power of negative 1. Negative y to the power of negative 2. Okay, multiply with exponent 1 over y. Uh, so, we'll get 1 minus exponent 1 over y over 
y square uh, so now we have two two values okay for the left and the right side okay we want to show so the left side okay we get this value okay this answer and the right side okay we also get the same answer okay 1 minus exponent 1 over y over y square so we can conclude that okay delta square f over delta x delta y equals to delta square f over delta y delta x okay so shown Example 2, if fxy equals to ln square root of x square plus y square, show that f sub xx equals to negative f sub yy. Okay, so for this question, first we want to find the left hand side. Okay, so f sub xx is equals to f sub x. Okay, you differentiate. Okay, with respect to x. Then we differentiate one more time with respect to x. Okay, so for this function, okay, first, okay, we can use the rule of logarithm. Okay, so ln x square plus y square to the power of 1 over 2 is also equals to 1 over 2 ln x square plus y square. Okay, now let's differentiate the function with respect to x. So, it is equals to, okay, 1 over 2 is a constant. Okay, now we want to differentiate ln. Okay, ln if you still remember. So, over x square plus y square. Okay, at the numerator, we differentiate with respect to x. Okay, so you get 2x. Simplify the, the term. So, you should get x over x square plus y square uh, now we differentiate one more time ok we respect to x ok one more time so for this one we have 2 x at the numerator and the denominator uh, what does it mean ok it means that we have to use quotient rule ok so u and v so, u is x. Okay, v is x square plus y square. Okay, u sub x is equals to 1 and v sub x equals to 2x. Okay, substitute. Okay, into quotient rule to find f sub x x. So, x square plus y square multiply with 1 minus x multiply with 2x all over with v square. Okay, your v is x square plus y square. Okay, simplify the terms. Okay, so you should get x square plus y square minus 2x square over x square plus y square square. So at the numerator will be y square minus x square all over with x square plus y square okay square okay so we have okay f sub x x okay let's continue okay now we want to find the okay the derivative for the right hand side f sub y y equals to f sub y okay bracket sub y so it means that okay we differentiate with y for the first order then we differentiate one more time okay for the second order derivative we respect to y okay one more time so fxy for log okay using the logarithm rule okay you can change to 1 over 2 non x square plus y square first okay we differentiate with respect to y so you get 1 over 2 the constant multiply with okay x square plus y square at the denominator and the numerator we differentiate with respect to y so you get 2y simplify so you get y over 
x squared plus y squared. Okay, now we want to differentiate. Okay, one more time with respect to y. Okay, we have to use quotient rule. So u equals to y, v equals to x squared plus y squared. Differentiate with respect to y. Okay, you get okay the two values. Then we substitute okay into the quotient rule okay to find f sub y y. So v x squared plus y squared multiply with one minus y okay multiply with two y. Okay, all over with v square x square plus y square square. Okay, simplify the term. Okay, you will get x square plus y square minus 2y square over x square plus y square square. Okay, you can simplify x square minus y square over x square plus y square square. Okay, so this is your answer for f sub y y. Okay, now let's go to the last part. Okay, for this question. Okay, we want to show that. Okay, f sub x x is equal to negative f sub y y. This is the answer that we get from the previous calculation. Okay, let's try to show the statement. Okay, so from the left hand side, okay, is your f sub x x equals to y square minus x square over with x square plus y square square. Okay, this is your f sub x x. Okay, we can change the numerator by factorize negative. Uh, so, in the bracket will be x square minus y square over, okay, the same denominator. Uh, so, when we look at the new form, okay, this one is actually your f sub y y, okay, with negative in the front. Okay, so we can write it is equal to negative f sub y y. So, this is equal to the right hand side. So, we can conclude that. Therefore, f sub x x is equal to negative f sub y y. Okay, shown.